Okay. Uh, splitting a model in two so you can print it larger than um, you would otherwise be able to do. Let's grab a model. I'm just going to delete these. Right, so this is a model that I'm going to split into two. First thing I'm going to do is scale it to the size I want to print it at. So I'm going to hold down shift key and click the vertical scale box and then enter 400 in the height. Press return. That's obviously not going to print on the Viper 400 high so we need to cut it in half. So first thing to do is create a whole box. Look straight down from the top and resize it so it's much bigger than the model. So we can be sure that we're going to cut every piece of the model off. I'm going to set the height to 200 and then I'm also going to move it up by 200 with this move vertical arrow. Once you start moving it this box appears you can just click in there and enter 200. So this part at the bottom is the first piece to print. We need to get rid of the top half so we'll select both box on the model and group. That's the first part made. You can export that as STL and we'll call it bottom one. Or bottom. Now we'll press Ctrl Z on the keyboard to undo that. Select the box, select the vertical um, height and drag it down to below the model. Now we'll select both again, group them, now we have the top part, export STL top. Saved. That's the two parts saved. What? It's probably going to be quite difficult to align them up when you come to glue them together. So you might want to put a keyway in there and have a key to locate them. So to do that, let's just import the bottom. Now we've got the full model again, but it's split into two parts. And I'm going to make the top half into a hole so that I can see clearer. And I'm going to get a box. And this box I'm going to make. eight millimeters wide and eight millimeters high and then just have to zoom in significantly to see the handles. stretch it out along the Y. Now I'm going to move that box up by 200. That will sit it at exactly the same height as the join in the 
two pieces of the model. Remove it into the model. Ah. If you lose the focus on it, you can just move the top part of the model out of the way. Press it to select it. And then press Ctrl Z to move the top bit back. You can use the arrow keys to move it as well, so we'll set a 1mm movement and I'll just use the cursor keys to move it to a position somewhere suitable, about there. Now I'm going to switch to orthog orth orth uh, orthographic mode. and line the view up. Zoom in close and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. The reason I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees is because when you print the top half with this cut out of it, a 45 degree slope it shouldn't have any issue printing an overhang of 45 degrees. So now we need to move that down so that these points line up with the join. So go down, down, down. I'm going to have to turn the one millimeter snap off. There. So now I'm going to make that key into a hole and select the bottom half of the model as well and group them. That's cut the keyhole out of the top. Zoom out so we can see it a bit easier. So we'll select the bottom half of the model and export STL and this is key bottom. As before press Ctrl Z to undo. just going to move the top half of the model out of the way. Oh, what happened there? I'll select the box. Move the top half of the model away. Select the key. Press Ctrl Z to bring it back. I'm going to make the top. Oh, sorry, I should have made the top half of the model solid first. Move it out of the way. Select the key. Press Ctrl Z to bring it back. Hold down Shift. Select the top of the model and group. Now we can save the top part. Key top. I'm going to press Ctrl Z again to undo. Get rid of both of those. Turn this back into a solid and rotate it 45 degrees again.
and then I'm going to change the size from 8 millimeters down to 7.9 and the height to 7.9 this will depend on your printer and how, how accurately um, your flow is calibrated, etc. Um, if this key is too tight a fit, then just reprint the key and make it a bit smaller in the height and the width. And then I'm going to export that as an STL and call it key. And that's the three parts you need. Oh, that, that's from when I was obviously running through this before. So I've got a file open. I've got key bottom. File open. We've got key top. If you look underneath, it's got the keyway in it as well. And then, obviously, file open and you've got the key as well. So you print all three parts. Make sure the key fits into the keyways in the two pieces and that the three pieces all fit together nice and flush and easily. Then you can glue the key into the bottom part, put glue on and then easily locate the top part straight onto that key into the hole in the bottom of it and hold it together and glue the two pieces together job done so there you go hope that gives you uh, some ideas of how to use tinker to cut a model up maybe a few things you've not realized before which maybe helped you with bye bye